when you got to sit at a table, take off your mask and have a meal with somebody you looked up to, like oh, Kevin Harlan. Yeah. Or we were on the, I remember just, I had a few hours to kill and I just wanted to go to the driving range. And there was Alonzo, uh, Alonzo Morning, who was with the Miami Heat contingent, you wow. know, for the the yeah. conference finals and finals, and PJ's like, Zo, you want to play with us? And next thing I know, I'm playing golf with Alonzo Morning. So it was kind of cool stuff like that. That's funny you mentioned that because he's a really good guy, and we just used an interview I did with him in, like, two-part series interview because it was a long interview that we did in 1998 when I was covering the Miami Heat, and that was one of the first – those are two of the first YouTube channel downloads that we – or uploads. What do you call it? Is it download or upload? Oh, uh, yeah, I think okay. you're uploading and I'm downloading <laughs> okay. your show. So uploading, so, yeah. yeah, it was called. It's on Flashback Friday last week. We did Alonzo. He's such a nice guy, and he got a. He had a really bad reputation as a player, but if you got him away from cameras and it was just you and him, super cool, down to earth guy. And still is. Yep. Uh, I yep. you know you never you never judge a book by its no cover. No way. And he's so quiet that sometimes quiet is often perceived differently yep. and many times negatively. And then once he opens up and starts talking, he's he's just another guy who's got a lot of experience in different areas of life that you just enjoyed hearing his stories. And he was equally as inquisitive about what we were doing, so it was a lot of fun. He was so gracious to me. It took me about eight months to land the interview. I just kept pushing, pushing, and pushing. And he said, I'll do it, but I won't do it live. So I brought my cassette recorder. And I went to the training facility in Miami, and we sat down, and we had 20 minutes. And from that moment on, the rest of the NBA season, I sat with his girlfriend. Like, it was, he wow. just welcomed me into the family. I don't even know if he would remember me now, because I haven't bummed into him again. But it's one of the best experiences I've had with a big-name player, um, was with Alonzo when he was playing for the well, Heat. Okay, It looks well, like he could still go for a few minutes. The man uh, has no body fat on Really? Him. And, yeah, he's still in good you know, shape. I mean, yeah. seven feet tall hasn't changed. Yeah, that does. But uh, yes, he is uh, in great shape and in great spirit. He's a lead play-by-play voice of ESPN. You hear him here on ESPN 1280 and FM 101.7 during any important sporting event.